The video review will start in a few seconds, but if you're watching this on YouTube, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion for me, you can post it on 3dgameman.com and the link is provided below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Easy Dock 2. And the model number on this one is EZD2536U3. The box itself does look quite nice, lots of pictures of the product on it, as well as features and specifications about it. Now let me go ahead and remove this plastic wrap and let's see what's inside. Here's the dock itself, wrapped in plastic. The installation guide, and at the bottom they have a USB cable, a power cord, and the power adapter. This stock fits two and a half inch and three and a half inch serial ATA one two and three hard drives. The transfer speed if you're using a fast drive and USB 3 can be up to five gigabits per second. Of course, transfer speeds will vary. It depends on the drive that you are using. Now, this is not your basic drive dock. Rather, it supports a bunch of RAID options, RAID 1, RAID 0, BIG, as well as JBOD. And you can use this as a standalone duplicator. You can actually clone drives on this without using the computer system. And being able to clone drives without a computer system is fantastic because sometimes if you are upgrading, you might want to clone one drive to a faster drive and then install that particular drive and it makes it super easy to do. Installing drives in this is a snap. Again, you can install three and a half inch or two and a half inch drives. They have two slots, slot one and slot two. To install a drive, simply push down like so and it's in. To remove it, simply pull them out. At the front they have the product name and at the top there are three status LEDs, one for power and the other two for drive access. Looking down inside these two slots, note how they have identified each two and a half inch and three and a half inch drives as well as the data and power serial ATA connectors. At the back there's a power button. Here's where the included power adapter gets connected. They include a USB 3 port, and remember, they do include a USB 3 cable as well. And this is a dip switch for configuring the different modes, RAID 1, RAID 0, JBOD, BIG, as well as cloning. Now, if you're cloning, follow the instructions in the manual. Now, I'll put the mode settings on the screen so you can get some idea how these dip switches need to be configured when you're doing the different modes. But again, refer to the manual to make sure that you're doing it correctly. Now, transfer speeds will vary on this tremendously, whether you're using the USB 3 connection to your computer system or if you're cloning, it depends on the drives that you are using. And these drives can be three and a half inch or two and a half inch. They can either be regular hard drives drives or solid state drives. This is a very impressive dock in that it can clone drives without a computer system. That is so cool. It will save so much time and very convenient if you want to duplicate a drive, but also it does different RAID options as I've mentioned, USB 3. Although it only supports two drives, which is pretty common for these docks and it does not have an eSATA port. But other than that, this is a kick product. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.